If you have any listings that have the update required badge, one of the main reasons that people have this update required, if you float over it, it will tell you exactly the reason why, but the most common issue is that the print provider that is associated with the listing and maybe it was auto-generated from that listing, usually if it says other in the shipping profile area, this is why this badge would appear. So the way to correct this that I would recommend is changing one shipping profile and applying that to all of the associated listings for that shipping profile. And there is an easy way to do this in bulk that I will show during this video as well. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click into this listing and I am going to edit the shipping profile here. So I'm gonna scroll down all the way. And as we can see, I have this shipping profile set for the Swift POD Gildan Unisex Heavy Blend Crew Neck Sweatshirt. So this does also, the way that you fill this shipping setting in, does depend on your print provider and the company that you are using. For me, I use Swift POD. Usually a lot of US print on demand providers, they use USPS. And most of the time I know for Swift POD and also Monster Digital, they use either USPS first priority or priority mail. Sometimes they use first class mail. I know for this specifically, they use USPS first class mail, which is the one to five business days. So uh, Etsy does suggest at the top here frequently used. And this is usually where most US based print providers sit within. So I'm going to select that for USPS first class mail. And usually your print provider will auto set in the one item or additional item fee. If you don't have this already filled out, you can always click into the listings. And then if you scroll down to that print on demand provider, so Swift POD, we can see standard is 4.75. And then if we click into provider info, usually in the shipping area here, it will say 475 and then 240. Now this is a Bell and Canvas 3001. This is not a Gildan 18, 18,000 in the example I'm showing here. If we are doing other areas that we are shipping to, again, most US print providers use USPS. So I am filling out as USPS. We are going to fill this out on anything else that we have here. And then after that, we are going to save and apply to this listing. So after we have this all saved, now we are good to go. So if I go back to my listing section, that badge is going to disappear. Now, if you have multiple listings that you want to add this onto, so for the purpose of this listing, tutorial, I'm using my test shop. Now, if I had multiple listings that I needed to apply this to, I would select all. So let's say you have two different print providers. Now I know in you're selling different product types. Let's say you're selling a mug that is with W O Y C and maybe they use a different postal carrier. Maybe, maybe you're using Duplium and they're based in Canada and with Duplium, they usually use DHL shipping because they are a Canadian based print provider. Now this would be different and any listing that you have with Duplium, you will want to change. So one way to go about this is sometimes you may have to go into the search and maybe search up those products. So if you know it's mug, then you can type in mug, hit enter, get all the listings that are mugs. Of course, I don't have any for this example, but after you do that, you're going to select those. And then what I want you to do is I want you to change section and add in a section. So you can manage sections, we can add a section, and then we could always put mug. Then after you change those sections, we will X out of this because we just added that section, we'll change section, click on mug, we will apply that to those listings. Now you have the mugs separated from your sweatshirts, then you can select all of those mugs. So you can also just go to sections, click on mug. Of course, I don't have it highlighted because it didn't apply for this test bit, but you will select those that apply to, let's say that other print provider. And then when you select those, 
you will go to editing options, you will change shipping profile. And then again, you will select the shipping profile that is to that exact print provider and makes sense for that print provider uh, warehouse where they are based. So for the purpose of let's say that everything is the same pr print provider in your business, then you're going to just select all and you will go to editing options the same way we just did where you're going to change shipping profiles and then we're going to select the Swift POD. We are going to hit apply and then all of our listings will update. So hopefully this video gives a lot of context and helps with updating all of your listings. I know sometimes this is a pain in the butt to change every now and then when Etsy comes up with these new updates, but hopefully this provides some context and gives both scenarios and multiple scenarios if you have multiple print providers or multiple print on demand companies in your Etsy business. Please let me know if you have any questions following this video.